Welcome back to Q2C VR Gamer. My name is Eric, and we are back, folks. After a little break where I had to take care of some family issues, we are back. Thank you for being patient with me, and I am ready to make some videos. We are doing this right before Gamescom, before I go to Germany, and I am so excited to tell you about Pimax. Yes, I'm going to talk Pimax again. You guys all know that I absolutely love Pimax for PC VR headset. I have this headset right here, which is the... Pimax 8KX. This is my daily driver. This is the headset that I use every time that I'm going to play PC VR. This is, in my opinion, the finest PC VR headset that you can buy on the market right now. But I'm going to make a change. I'm going to make a change to this. It looks pretty much the same, right? <laughs> These headsets look exactly the same. This right here is the DMAS, or is the KD mass version of the Pimax 8KX. This is the DMAS version of the 8K Pimax 8KX. Now, what's the difference? Basically, nothing that you can see visually, except when you're in the headset. In the headset, 120 hertz in this headset, only 90 hertz in this headset. And I'm here to tell you right now, there is a big visual difference. I've tried both. I can tell you right now that the 120 hertz is absolutely the way to go with this headset. And I think going forward that this is going to be the only version that you're going to be able to buy off of their website uh, or off of Amazon eventually. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this headset in this video. I'm going to tell you about the KD mass version, the 120 hertz version of the 8KS. I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to show you their brand new website that just launched on August 16th, and I can't, we've all kind of been saying the same thing for a while. They need to kind of fix their website. It's a little all over the place. Guys, they've streamlined it. It looks really good. Pimax has got their stuff together. On the verge of the launch of the Pimax Crystal, their standalone headset, I'm here to tell you right now, this, in my opinion, is the finest high-end PC VR headset that you can buy, and I'm going to show you a little bit about it. All right, so let's dive deep. I'm going to get in. I'm going to break this out show you a little bit about the headset itself, show you some close-ups, and then we're gonna get into the lens, I'll show you some videos, and then we'll talk and we'll look at the website. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, just as before, let's take a quick look at the headset itself. As I said before, not much has changed, really. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at the outside of the headset. Looks pretty much the same. Uh, has the nice speakers on the side. They are adjustable in height. You can move them up and down to fit your ear. Uh, has the entirely huge lenses inside, just as the original KD mass does. Um, again, the really the only difference between the D mass and the KD mass is the 120 hertz. Uh, I figured I would just show you again so you can see that when you're buying it, there is no difference. It's just 120 hertz. And eventually, maybe they will make it to where if you owned an original KD mass, you can switch it over to the 120 hertz. But as of right now, uh, it's only the DMAS version, and I'll keep you updated on that. But right now, let's talk about the KDMAS. Uh, and as again, as you can see, it's the exact same headset as before. Super comfy. I absolutely love this headset. Um, the strap itself is really strong. It's sturdy. I love the back love of the headset right here. Uh, it fits my head really well. It's got this piece that kind of drops down and kind of cups the back of your head. Uh, fits it just perfect for me. This is a heavier headset than some. Uh, headsets that you're used to out there, but on your head, I'll let you know now, it does not feel overly heavy. Um, it actually feels very comparable to the Valve Index uh, or any other big PC VR headset. It's just wider. You know, it was wider in the headset, so it's going to like want to move a little bit on you. So if you're going to do a workout in this game, if you're looking to do like uh, Supernatural or something like that, maybe not the headset I would pick for that. If you have a Quest 2, something like that, go for that. Everything else, I'm definitely going to go with the Pimax. Um, this is a premier headset. You cannot go wrong with this. I fully endorse this now, and I will tell you a little bit later in the video. Uh, if you want to purchase one, where you can go to get one, get a little discount. Okay, let's get into um, the website a little bit, and then let's get into some visuals. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's check out this, uh, this website. Uh, this is Pimax, uh, just Pimax.com. And we can see if you've looked at the Pimax website in the past, this website is super clean. Um, they've done a good job. And, you know, you're thinking to yourself, Eric, what's the big deal? It's just a website. It is just a website. But, guys, 
It's like anything else. I mean, if you don't feel comfortable when you go to their website, you don't want to buy the product. And this is something that people have complained about for a while with Pimax is that the website was a little all over the place. Well, they fixed it. They're basically taking every every comment or every, you know, negative thing that people would have to say and they're really really looking at the, these things looking how they can make them better and you know again you think it's a simple thing but it just goes towards the mentality of improving themselves to make themselves better and this is one of the reasons why i'm a big fan of pimax so let's take a look right off the bat the pimax reality 12k again this headset is not out yet it is supposed to be coming very soon um possibly quarter three or quarter four most likely q1 2023 but right underneath it, you're going to see the Pimax 8KX and, and then their, their Pimax 5K Super. So, you know, in the past, they've had a ton of different headsets that they offered, and it just got to be a little bit too much. I think this is definitely streamlined now. You have the 5K Super, which is a very good headset in its own. You have the 8KX, which I believe is the better buy. And then you have the upcoming 12K uh, Pimax Reality, what they consider their VR 3.0. Um, so nice, good looking to look at. Let's just take a look at a little bit of what you look at, what you're going to see when you want to look at Pimax and you hit the learn more button. Very cool with the way the website is. They give you a nice shot of the headset itself. And then they just tell you a little bit about it here. And it kind of like highlights as you scroll down to the different, you know, different paragraphs or different sentences that they have. And this is one of the cooler things I've seen right here. You get to this 8KX part, and this is just me scrolling down on the mouse wheel. Basically, is just bringing it towards you and telling you what this is going to look like. Just gives you a good idea. And then it goes to a, like a live video where you see this bird moving around. And it just goes to give you a good idea what the kind of clarity and what kind of, of field of view you will see in the 8KX. And then you kind of scroll back upwards, and you kind of pull back out of it again. So... Very cool thing if you just want to get a good little quick look at what the Pimax, Pimax is all about. Tells you a little bit about Immerse Yourself in Amazing 8K Fidelity, our native uh, 4K customized CLPL display technology features minimal response times, higher for refresh rates, experience the slightest details in virtual reality with the highest resolution and widest field of view on the market. I can't agree more with that say, statement. Okay. Let's back out a little bit now, go backwards, and let's take a look at when you go to buy now. All right, I am in the United States, so we're looking at American dollars here, um, but you can see the Pimax 8KX DMAS. This is the only one I see listed now for the Pimax 8KX. So again, 4K, uh, 4K, two ultra 4K screen, HD resolution screens, 200 degree field of view, uh, Steam VR 1.0 at 2.0 tracking supported, so you're going to be able to use your Steam base stations. Uh, comfortable ergonomic design. I definitely will say that. It is a big headset, don't get me wrong. But if you think it's going to be unwieldy and it will be uncomfortable to wear, you're off base on that one. I've already talked about that in, in a prior video when I first tried it on. It was one of the biggest surprises and shocks I had with putting on the 8KX is how comfortable the headset was and how unheavy it felt it did it, i thought it was going to be very cumbersome and it was not all right let's take a look at the prices the dmas version this is 1179 for the headset alone is this a cheap headset this is not a cheap headset but you're getting the best in a pc vr headset that you can get right now the 200 degree field of view and now the 120 hertz is a game breaker for me these uh, when i go back to other headsets whether it be my um my uh, valve index or whether it be my um you know my my oculus quest 2 or any of the other headsets that i own this hurts them badly because i always want to go back to the 200 degree field of view and i want to go back to the 120 degree or 120 hertz uh refresh rate of the 8kx so to me that's why this stands alone as the best head heads headset out there all right, so what do you need? Can you run it with 1179? Can you run it? You can't, unless you already have base stations and the controllers, um, the, the either the Valve, uh, Vive Wands, or the Sword controllers. You cannot use this for 1179. So if you're starting from scratch, you can't do that. You need to do the 1179, plus you either need to do this Sword kit that you see right here for 599, or you need to do the Player kit which has um, the knuckle controllers instead of the sword controllers. So here are the sword kit for $5.99. What do you get? You get two 2.0 base stations. You get two sword controllers. 
And then if you want to jump to the valve controllers, the valve index controllers, the knuckle controllers, it's going to be 679. So you can get the two 2.0 uh, base stations plus the knuckle controllers or the valve index controllers for 679. The sword controllers, if you just want to do them by themselves, 269. They do have a couple other options like a hand tracking module, and then they have a silicone sleeve that you need to put the protection piece on. Not 100% necessary uh, for me. It's all about the headset. It's all about the controllers. It's all about um, the base stations. All right, so again, that is the AKX. And eventually, we will see a spot here uh, for the, you know, the, um, the Pimax Crystal, their standalone headset. So when that launches, and that's supposed to be quarter four of 2022, we will see a spot on here for the, um, for the, the Pimax Crystal. So let's just go to the store part just to get a look at that. Pimax, get immersed in the metaverse. Looks very cool. Shows the swords controllers, which I hope to have uh, a set or, or Todd will have a set soon to show you guys the sword controllers, do a full kind of review of the sword controllers. I don't have them myself. I use the Valve uh, Index controllers, which is the Knuckle controllers. It's because I already had an Index, so I didn't need to buy anything extra or get anything extra. I already had the base stations from my Index, and I already had the controllers. Um, this is just another kind of spot where you can see things that are for sale. Um, you can see actually here they do offer the KD Mass version still, 1135, 1179 for the D Mass. So it's not on the front page, but we did here find it here on the second page of the store. Uh, so they do actually offer the both versions, which is good to see because if you do want, if you don't care about the other, you don't care about the 120 hertz and uh, the little bit uh, difference there, you can just do the KD Mass version. And it shows you a little bit closer eye tracking module you can do hand tracking module that shows you the kd mass earphones and then the d mass earphones the d mass earphones a little bit nicer earphone than the kd mass earphone uh, and then just some extra cables if you need cables uh, nice to be able to get parts when you need them all right so again that's just the store itself uh, let's take a look at um, the 12k reality so this is basically what you're going to be coming uh, hopefully uh, quarter four at the end of quarter four or at probably most likely the beginning of uh, quarter one of 2023. Very basic right now. It's just basically showing you a picture, controllers, what the headset will look like and things like that. They do have a great support page uh, where you can get in there and ask questions. They have a good community page where you can actually go in and see what other people are talking about. You can join people and asking questions as a community there to check out. And then you have an accessory page, which we, which we just looked at. Okay. That's the website, guys. Uh, as I said before, I know it seems kind of trivial to say, you know, what's the big deal? It's just a website. But again, this was just a complaint that we all had. The website wasn't great. You know, it was kind of all over the place. So what did they do? They fixed it, streamlined it. And now this is the website that you will see when you're looking to go and check out Pimax. And just another positive sign that we're moving forward. All right, enough of the website, enough of me showing you the headset. Let's do some gameplay in the new 8KX DMAS version with the 120 hertz uh, enabled. Let's go check it out. Let's see what it looks like. And uh, I, as I said before, I can already tell you, it's breathtaking. Let's go. Go to the base camp gate when you are ready. Yeah. Was that thunder? But underneath that, there are voices. Vesper, stay back. There's something wrong. There it is again. Might be an Arcus? It's not an Arcus. It's not from here. What the... What is that? Everyone back!
Oh. oh shit, run dude. Damn bro, scared the shit out of me. Where did you come from? Oh god damn it. Look at that freaking thing, man. Oh, we caught him right in the freaking face mask. All right, now we can deal with the dude with the shield. Oh, he hit me a little bit there. 